Let's understand some of the diseases which are caused by various microorganisms. So we basically classify microorganisms under five broad heads which cause various diseases. So those are bacteria, viruses, protozoa, fungi and worms. So what we would understand today is the various diseases that are caused by these five microorganisms and the diseases caused by each of the organisms. Now this is a commonly asked question for most of your examination and a confusing section where students can get confused between whether this disease is being caused by viruses or protozoa or bacteria. So let's understand some of these one by one. So let's first talk about bacteria. Now many of the diseases that we commonly hear about are caused by bacteria. For example, cholera, typhoid, diarrhea, uh, pneumonia, tuberculosis, tetanus, uh, plague. Now all of these can be either vector borne, water borne, air borne. Uh, there could be various ways of transmission through which they are spread. For example, diseases like cholera and typhoid are spread through house flies. Uh, cholera is spread through cockroaches as well. Then you have tuberculosis which is airborne disease. Tetanus is through the fecal matter of the contaminated uh, contaminated fecal matter through the rust that is spreads. Then you have uh, diseases like plague that is spread through rats which is again vector borne. Perduces which is whooping cuff and finally anthrax. So these are some of the commonly caused diseases because of bacteria. The next classification that we would understand today is based on on uh, viruses now definitely <clears throat> in this situation we have COVID-19 as the most commonly heard disease caused by virus but besides that there are numerous diseases caused by viruses the diseases which are caused by viruses needs antiviral for their cure similarly caused by bacteria needs antibacterials which is antibiotics now some of the common diseases caused by viruses are herpes common cold, yellow fever, dengue, then we have measles, smallpox, uh, AIDS, rabies, hepatitis are some of the diseases which are caused by viruses. Again, uh, both the diseases, let's say dengue, which is caused by uh, virus is a disease uh, which is caused by mosquitoes but there is another disease which is malaria which is uh, again caused by protozoa so we have another classification for uh, fungi and then protozoa and finally the worms now fungi we talk uh, commonly about three diseases the first is food poisoning then we have madura's foot and finally skin diseases which are in the form of ringworms mainly so madura foot is a uh, disease where there is a swelling on the lower side of the foot that is seen and then we have the various diseases which are caused by protozoa now protozoa diseases are very very commonly heard about diseases we have uh, diseases like malaria then we have diarrhea which is a common disease now diarrhea could be caused either by protozoa bacteria or viruses similarly there is a term similar to diarrhea which is dysentery but amoebic dysentery is a classic example of protozoa uh, disease caused by protozoa very commonly asked in most of your examinations then we have sleeping sickness this is caused by testis fly as we have covered this in our vector borne uh, disease classes then we have kala azar or leishmania which is caused by sand fly and then finally gridasis so these are some of the common diseases caused by protozoa finally when it comes to worm the most commonly heard diseases in the worms is elephantiasis which is also known as filariasis now here you have one of the leg that uh, swells extremely as you can see in the picture here and this is the most common example of a disease caused by worm so th this was a very fundamental classification of the various diseases which are caused by various microorganisms. We would be covering such short classes and small topics very very important for your exam point of view. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day ahead.